T-minus 4 minutes, 42 seconds, and counting. T-minus 4 minutes, 30 seconds, and counting. Once we get the APU start, we have a total of 12 minutes of hydrazine supply for running the APUs prior to a liftoff. Everything going very smoothly in this count. The APU start is complete, T minus 4 minutes, 10 seconds, and counting. As preparation for main engine ignition, the main fuel valve heaters have been turned off. T minus 3 minutes, 57 seconds, and counting. The final helium purge on the shuttle main engine has been started in preparation for engine start. The liquid oxygen replenish system has been turned off in preparation for pressurization of the tanks uh, for the launch. T minus 3 minutes, 35 seconds, and counting. The Elevon speed brake and rudder are being moved through a pre-programmed pattern to assure that they'll be ready for use in flight. T minus three minutes, 20 seconds and counting. The shuttle is now on internal power. However, the fuel cells are still receiving their fuels from the ground support system for one more additional minute. Coming up on T minus three minutes, T minus three minutes and counting. The engine gimbal or movement check is underway to assure they're ready for flight control. T minus two minutes, 52 seconds, the LOX valve on the external tank has been closed and pressurization has begun. After the tank is pressurized, the hold capability is limited to three minutes, 36 seconds. T minus two minutes, 40 seconds and counting. The The fuel cell ground supply of oxygen and hydrogen has been terminated and the vehicle is using its onboard supply. T minus two minutes, 25 seconds and counting. T minus two minutes, 15 seconds. The pressure in the LOX tank is at flight pressure. Coming up on just two minutes away from launch. T minus two minutes, mark and counting. The liquid hydrogen vent valve has been closed and flight pressurization is underway. T minus one minute, 50 seconds and counting. Chuck Hannon has just said smooth sailing baby to astronauts John Young and Bob Crippen. T minus one minute, 35 seconds and counting. T minus one minute, 20 seconds and counting. We can see the purges of the main engines uh, as we prepare for ignition. T minus one minute, 10 seconds and counting. Liquid hydrogen tank is at flight pressure. T minus one minute, mark and counting. The firing system for the sound suppression water will be armed in just a couple seconds from now. It has been armed. T minus 45 seconds and counting. T minus 40 seconds and counting. The development flight instrumentation recorders are on. T minus 35 seconds. We're just a few seconds away from switching to the redundant sense sequencer. T minus 27 seconds. We have gone for redundant set sequencer start. T minus 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15, 14, 13. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. We've gone for main engine start. We have main engine start. The shuttle has cleared the tower.
Houston, you're going throttle up. Roger, go throttle up. Roger, Columbia on the nice ride. You're lofting a little bit, so you'll probably be slightly high at staging. One minute, 45 seconds, coming up on go, no, go. Columbia, you're in negative seat. Uh, that call up says uh, that uh, Columbia, the altitude is too high for ejection seat use. Mark. Columbia, you're go for SRB step. Two minutes, four seconds, standing by for SRB step confirmation. <laughs> Roger on the set, Columbia. Mark, uh, two minutes, 20 seconds. Confirm solid rocket booster set. Check out for this year. Mark, uh, two minutes, 30 seconds. On, on board guidance is converging as program. Columbia is now steering for its precise window in space for main engine cutoff. Mark, 2 minutes, 40 seconds. Columbia now 39 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 42 nautical miles downrange. Mark, uh, 2 minutes, uh, 50 seconds. Columbia. Columbia, you're looking a little hot. All your calls will be a little early. Okay. Columbia now has two-engine rotor capability. Mark, 3 minutes. Young and Crip and Rayleigh moving out. Now velocity now reading uh, 6,200 feet per second. Mark, uh, 3 minutes, 15 seconds. Columbia now 51 nautical miles in altitude, 66 nautical miles down range. Velocity now reading 6,500 feet per second. Mark, uh, 3 minutes, 30 seconds. Columbia now 55 nautical miles in altitude, 78 nautical miles down range. Mark, uh, three minutes, 40 seconds, uh, standing by for a return status check and mission control by Flight Director Neil Hutchinson. Columbia given a green to continue. Mark, three minutes, 55 seconds, standing by for a press D'Amico, which uh, says Columbia should lose one engine. Columbia, uh, press stand on. by, press D'Amico. Columbia continues flying forward, coming up on negative return. Roger, press for Roger, press for Mark, uh, four minutes, eight. Columbia, stand by for negative return. Mark, negative return, and your revamp is good. Mark, uh, four minutes, 25. Five seconds with that. With that call up from Capcom. Capcom Brandon Stein, Columbia now committed to space travel. Young and Crippen can no longer turn around and return to the launch site. Columbia Houston, uh, we're showing both Ohm's PC transducers off scale high. Uh, 